Hello everybody. Hello, how you doing? And welcome, welcome. Well, I want to first mention that I am doing this video at the request of a viewer. I had been neglecting this album for a long time, I have to admit. And one of my viewers, David Perkins, so I will dedicate this video to David Perkins because he mentioned that I have not done a review or talked about this album introducing the Beatles yet. And you know what? He's exactly right. If you go way back almost two and a half years ago to my very first video, the first album I gave tribute to was Meet the Beatles. I've talked about something new. I've talked about yesterday and today. I've talked about Beatles 6. Go through the whole Capitol catalog pretty much and I've, I've talked about them. But the one album that I haven't really talked about yet and give my little thought on has been this one. So I think I'm going to rectify that right now because David brought it up and, and I said, geez, that's a great idea. Anyway, this album was technically, or was, the first Beatles album released in the United States. It was released on January 10th, 1964 on the VJ label. And there's the label logo right there. On VJ. And actually it was released 10 days before Meet the Beatles. Now, as you know, there's been a lot of legal hassles and wrangling with this album and VJ versus Capital and releasing. I'm not going to get into all that legal mumbo jumbo stuff. And I, to be honest with you, I am very limited in my knowledge of that whole history and what happened between VJ and Capital and the lawsuits and, and the restraining orders and all that stuff in regards to releasing this music. I'm just going to give a brief overview of it show my copies of it, and then maybe you can uh, join in on some of the discussion a little bit and maybe give your two cents on what you think of this album. Uh, let me start with this. I like this album a lot. I really do enjoy it. Um, is it my favorite of this material? No, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But I will say that, uh, as I said, when it came out on January 10th, it was before Meet the Beatles by 10 days. But with all the way things were released and whatnot, Meet the Beatles was able to get to number one before this album could. And Meet the Beatles stayed at number one for 11 straight weeks, whereas this album, it stalled out at number two behind Meet the Beatles, and it sat at number two for nine consecutive weeks, which was still pretty good, you have to say, for uh, you know a label like VJ, which didn't have the promotional push like... Um, Capital did, but, you know, the Beatles were so big at that time when they first came to America that, you know, when something like this came out, it was just bound to sell. The Beatles were just so fabulous and so popular, and, and it did great. Um, it has sold, from what I understand, well over a million and a half copies. Please correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I know it's gone platinum, and um, it was kind of rushed out real quick when they did it, and... Uh, so the covers varied when it first came out. Again, I'm not getting into all the details in that. Some of you can help me. But the covers varied at the time when it first came out. There was a, a cover called the Ad Back cover because when they put it out, they, they put this as the front cover, and here's the back cover that I have, which ended up being the final one. But they were doing it so quickly that they ended up putting a back cover in the initial pressings that just had ads for other VJ artists and records on the back. That is a very rare and highly sought collectible, which uh, I think some of you have shown it out there. Some in the vinyl community do have that one. Um, I obviously don't. Then there was one called the blank back cover where uh, the whole they ran out of doing the ad back cover, so they just slapped a plain white cover on the back and that's known as the blank back cover. That's another highly collectible version of this. Again, there's many different versions of this. There's counterfeits, which I think I have a counterfeit here I can show you. There's all different variations of this album. But if you can get an original in some type of form, I think that's pretty good. And that's what I have here. This is my only original pressing of introducing the Beatles. It's a mono. As you can see, there's no stereo band at the top or anything. It's a mono pressing from 1964, and I'll show you the uh, the album itself. As you can see, uh, the label, and you'll notice where it says Introducing the Beatles, and then the Beatles is right below it above the spindle hole. 
again, you know, you experts out there, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, that's a good indicator right away if you have an original, if you have that uh, on the label like that with introducing the Beatles and the Beatles together above the spindle hole. And I'll show you one where I don't have that, and it's obviously a later pressing or a counterfeit. Now, um, they released Please Please Me, and From Me To You is a single from this album. And um, again, there are a lot of legal issues, even with all the singles being released by Capitol and VJ, and then uh, even Tali and Swan. It's a whole thing. You've got to read about it, folks. It's, it's just so convoluted and so detailed, and I really don't want to get into all that right now. I just want to speak about the album itself. Um, also, there were other variations of this material. VJ, as long as they could crank out the the uh, product, they did, and they released stuff like songs, pictures, and stories of the Fabulous Beatles album. You've heard of that one. The Beatles versus the Four Seasons. They used the same material. Uh, it, just so many variations of it. But this is the original. This is the one I first got um, as a young boy. Not this actual one, but um, I, you know, I I never got any of that Four Seasons and the Fabulous Beatles ones and all that until later on. But um, you got to be careful of counterfeits. I do like the material on this. Before I get into showing my others, as you can see, there's the track listing. But I have to say, out of the, all this material recorded, and as you know, Capitol finally got it around to releasing it in early 1965 in this form. However, it was very truncated. They didn't have as many songs on it. Some songs were left off. This is nice to have, but not my favorite. My favorite version of all this material has to be this, the British Please Please Me, the way the Beatles intended to release this material. This is fabulous. This has, you know, the all 14 tracks, as you can see, and this is just my favorite. If I, if I had to, you know, hold these all up together, okay, my favorite is obviously Please Please Me, then I would say introducing the Beatles is number two of this material. And then my third favorite would be the early Beatles. That's just the way it is. I mean, the, the original Please Please Me, you can't beat it. The, the sound is great, mono or stereo, however you want it. But this one is still nice. It's still nice to have this, uh, this album. As I say, good to have. And that's my original. Um, here's a definite counterfeit I have. Oh, one thing I should have shown you about it what an original should have is uh, George is standing here and you can see there's a shadow of George from the lighting. That definitely should be on there. That's one of the clues. You have to read about all the different clues of how to get a proper one. But uh, this one, as you can see, I got it at Wise Buy for $2.99. <laughs> if this isn't a counterfeit, I don't know what is, folks. Stereophonic up top. You can see the, uh, the printing of the picture is just totally, I mean... Look at the night and day of an original with George's shadow. Look at the coloring, the images of the Beatles, how detailed they look. And then look at this thing. I'll try to cut out the glare, but the no shadow for George. The coloring is completely different. It's almost like washed out a little bit. They, so that, that's, that's, a, that's a hint right there that's not real. And then look at the label on it. VJ, black, counterfeit. This is another one I have. I still have it. Um, looks very realistic. George has the shadow and everything. It says stereophonic. Um, but when you look at the label, plus the vinyl's very thin, you look at the label, see introducing the Beatles is on top of the spindle hole and the Beatles is below it. So I don't know when this would have been pressed or issued, but this is obviously not an original. Okay. And... Um, Lastly, I just want to show you one other thing about this album is that you can get it on a CD with Meet, Meet the Beatles. Now, this is a fan club only release, so it's not authorized, but I always like this because you get some extra material on it. You get the entire Introducing the Beatles. You get Meet the Beatles. So you're getting a cornucopia of material on this single CD. It's really well done, as you can see, a little picture of the Beatles right here on the inside and you get the back of Meet the Beatles reproduced and then an image of the band here 
So this is a nice little CD to pick up if you can find it. Um, where you're getting both of these albums, great albums, on one disc. And that can't be beat. So that's my uh, introducing the Beatles on CD. But again, it is a good album. I do enjoy it. Um, I would I would certainly recommend getting it if you don't have it. It is a nice addition to your Beatles collection. And as I say, great little album, but you, you got to say the British... UK, Please Please Me is the way to go if you want to get this material in the best form. But again, for my uh, viewer, David Perkins, I just wanted to give some love to this album and say I really enjoy it. It's kind of in a way, I know I talked about yesterday and today as being the Forgotten Beatles album, but, you know, introducing the Beatles is kind of a forgotten little album too, in a sense, because it wasn't in the Capitol or Apple catalog or uh, Parlophone, and uh, it kind of gets lost in the shuffle sometimes. But well, just wanted to give a little love to it today and say thanks to David for the recommendation and go enjoy some Introducing the Beatles. Reintroduce yourself to the Beatles. Take care, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye.